Last time here in Returnal, we were able to finally finish level number one and move on from there. But in order to do that, we had to battle a freak named Freaked, and he gave us an absolute run for our money. And honestly, he kind of whooped our ass, and we just had enough lives to get through it. And after that, we were able to collect our spoils of war and get to the area that we are in now, which is the Crimson waste we uh we struggled a little bit through it but we now are where we are now with the new gun max health and the uh, more exploration and unknowns to uncover so if you guys are ready i sure as hell am let's get back with celine here in returnal this game always terrifies me just because it feels like if you're going to take the time to take a break from this game, it can be so incredibly punishing. But I feel like this is the way that we need to go. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I mean, this doesn't seem that wild, but we're just going to wait and we go. Pog. Let's actually listen to these now. Divine punishment for failing ascension. Ascension. No sooner has the word escaped my lips than a vast image of the transcendent watcher in the deep below consumes my mind. I have begun having visions of where I have yet to go. They lead me continually downwards from Olympus and into myself. I alone am worthy. What happened to her? I mean, to you, that is not me. I, Celine, that is you, though. That's the thing. That is you. Oh boy. Okay, we're making it. We're making it. She seems like she went a little bit off her rocker there in that last clip, no? Which I, 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 you can't blame her, right? Imagine, imagine. I don't think this would ever be possible, obviously, unless, you know, there's extraterrestrial life that we just don't know about. But imagine you are in Celine's cosmic boots and you had to go through what she's going through with the unknowns and all of that. Just imagine. Our connection to our brethren was destroyed. We descended into the abyss at last complete. Upon return, our brethren feared us. So that kind of, to me, it seems like they had some kind of falling out. They went somewhere. They came back. And then it was like, hey, man, we're not, we not so cool anymore. I know we got to have some enemies somewhere. Yep, I seen one pop up. Oh, shit. I'm gonna burn you alive with my electricity. What is happening? Oh, guys, another one of these things. Another one of these things. Bitch, I will hit you as well. Oh, shit. I know my suit integrity is low, okay? I just got my ass handed to me. By that big bastard. I understand that, believe me. Some kind of loot cave? It would seem so. Oh man, there's there is so much going on here. Oh boy. There is a lot going on here. The other thing I need to think about too is like, if I know that they're about to hit me, if I have a perfectly timed dodge, even if that, that particle is in fact gonna hit me, that should in theory keep me from taking damage if I would have done that correctly. All right, we need to bounce. We need to bounce. We're we're in really bad shape. We're in really bad shape. We're 
We're like one hit from death. Where is this bastard? Where are you? Oh, you're down there. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Can't hit me. Can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me. Now you're staggered. This is where we do damage, baby. Can we back up? No, 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 no! See, now I'm annoyed. Sick. Hey, we died. We're back again. I still think that's the best suit. That suit looks sick. I'm not sure what this is again. I completely forgot. Oh. Are you... Oh, what is going on here? We never did this last time. We just died and woke back up. I don't think we need to rest. Okay, we're going to sleep, I guess. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I glad we did this now? Okay, I didn't expect to get anything out of that. But that tells me that every time we die, we need to come do this. Because I think we're going to get more into that. Oh, man. That's so aggravating. And that means that this entire world is going to be reset, right? I feel just... I feel defeated. I know that the world's going to reset. We just lost all of our stuff. We lost all of our obelites. All that shit is different, but this is different. What is going on? Oh, it discovered a strange device that is already active. It feels alive. I'm not receiving any information when scanning. Oh, that's great. What are we going to do when the cool scanny thing doesn't work, huh? What in the hell is that? Thank you. Creepy, breathy rock thing. A stonos. This device unlocks new items for your use in exchange for ether. You can see your progress on the meter. Once the light reaches the top, you will unlock the next item. Okay. Well, what did we get? Energy manipulator. Using a consumable briefly increases protection by 15%. All right. That still doesn't like. The environment is changing. Yeah. Could the force be adapting? No, I don't think it's really adapting. I think that <laughs> this shit just sucks, Celine. <laughs> this is different. Reconstructor. A Xenotech device for accurate reconstruction of complex entities per environment. What does that even mean? 
discovered a device with a sentient shaped imprint. I mean, we have to at least conducting field tests. Attempt it, right? Oh boy. Uh, yikes. Uh, it scanned me. But for what purpose? I don't know, but it. It took six of my ether. So. I would like to understand what the hell's going on here. No, you're just gonna take my ether and run with it? All right, cool, dude. No! No way! No, I dodged, man. Wait. This device prevented me from returning to the ship. Interesting. So is that going to keep being a thing? Or is that... How exactly is that going to work? And does it also mean that when I go back to this area over here, this big brolic bastard is still going to be there? Or how exactly is that going to work? It kind of looks like it. Well, this is going to be an easy defeat for you, you big bitch. Ugly. I came back with a vengeance. So I wonder since this is in the exact same spot, or it seems like it's in the same spot, or it's, this, it's the same area that it has the same things in it, just different, it's arranged differently. Or certain sections are different, but like that kind of stuff always stays in the same spot. But how you get to that section is is the different part in every single, uh, in every single world. Okay, so the good thing is we don't have to redo all of this. A making it back to this was actually not that bad if I just wanted to just go through it. It probably took me about 10, 15 minutes. So not that bad. I mean, we're still going to have to obviously work our way back through um, the entirety of Crimson, Crimson Waste to get to where we were, but... And I took damage. That's sick, game. Love that. Environmental okay. Environmental adaptation isn't unique to the forest. The desert has similarly been altered. Yes, it has a little Could bit. Could the whole world be rearranging itself? It uh, would seem that way, Celine. It might be the oppressive heat, but I keep catching myself glancing over my shoulder, only to find shadows and the astronaut staring back. Whenever I try to reach them, I that. find myself in a sandstorm. I can't seem to stop this from happening. Interesting. Celine is, I mean, she's literally in a blender right now. She's in a blender. She can't do anything about it either. Oh God, what is this? Inert reclaimer, an inactive Xenotech device. Can be used to recover health and integrity. Oh, this is cool. See, every time she rests, we get a little, just a little tiny look into something. If it, I don't know if it's a flashback. I don't know what it is. Bitch. Little bat. All right. So I got a feeling that it, it's got to paint some kind of picture the more and more and more that we rest and have things like that happen. This gun sucks. Never again will I ever pick up this gun. It will literally be the death of me. It will be why I die. It will be why I die.
Every time I die, we get Enough. more I understand. stuff. I'm trapped. The broadcast signal. That's all that matters. Astra, Helios is gone. Celine heading out. Okay. Might as well deposit that. Oh, the house is here again. What the? Okay, so I think I'm starting to piece together how this works. The lights were left on. It seems like... It's open. It seems like... Certain sections are the exact same. They're just rearranged every time that you, uh... You die. So this is this house section is the exact same house section that we saw before. It's just now at the very beginning of this instead of midway or through to the end. So I don't know if we're gonna get anything new when we go through this. I don't know. I, I'm feeling very frustrated just because of the fact that now I feel like we're at a standstill and we're only to the second. This has changed. Yeah, it has changed. We're only like to like is moving things. We're only into the mid-second part of this game, and it's getting hard to survive. Hi, sweetheart. I'm not coming home. Who is she talking to? More of that is messed up as well. I haven't needed these for a while. I'm afraid of mirrors, I'll be honest. This is terrifying. This is horrifying. Hello? And what's crazy is the game knows that you're gonna die. There? It knows you're gonna die, and it knows you're th that you're gonna encounter this exact space again and again and it changes every time there's little tweaks to it pop doesn't that have to be spun doesn't that have to be spun you know what would be crazy what if, since this house is here, it's also in multiple different timelines, so things are getting moved around by other Selenes. And she's just as confused as the Selene that we're experiencing this game through. I don't want to read this. Maybe I should. I just don't like that we're first person and I have to turn to look. I feel like something's gonna pop up behind me every fucking time. Cause see, that's the thing. Is if I wasn't making YouTube videos on this, I would love this. This would be great. But as far as like recording and making Delay videos. Adequate. Match. Let me I in. A way to... <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, game is terrifying. What is going on? It's still waiting. This is why I just can't do scary games. And this isn't even necessarily a scary game. It's just 
suspenseful. It's gonna be behind me. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That octopus wasn't there before. That octopus wasn't there before. The computer is gone. Oh. My mind is getting fucked right now. Octo. I remember you. See how it, it pulls? It like pulls stuff in real tight. To make you focus on it? Nah, fam. Nah, fam! This is in a different spot. That happened last time, even though I feel like there's more of it than... Last time. That's how it makes you stand at the corners. It makes you turn around. Now we have a letter. I've never seen this before. Regrettable delay. Inadequate match. We have decided to pursue Let's other go. candidates whose backgrounds and aptitudes more closely align with our current requirements and future needs. At present, we feel your proficiencies would prove an inadequate match given conditioning necessary for deep space missions. So she got rejected to be a part of Astra. New item unlocked. Okay. A music box. Personal item plays a sound when near secret locations. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. An astronaut, but that's impossible. Is it guiding me or following? It reminds me the old photos my mother showed me. The type of suit she would have worn if not for the accident. But something from the Apollo era couldn't withstand this atmosphere. This game is another mind fuck, man. It is an absolute mind fuck. And I get it. You gotta keep going through it in order to learn it and get better at it. I get it. But man, oh, I got people behind me. Ow, bitch. Stupid. Bitch. There's a lot of little doggies here, man. Dude. Thank you. So I I, I don't know. This is this is where it starts to get weird and complicated for me. Cause I don't know what I'm really supposed to be doing here other than trying to make it back to the same place that we've been to over and over and over and over, you know? Like I said, as far as playing the game, this is awesome. It's so cool conceptually, and it is it is amazing. It is engaging my brain in, in different ways of thinking like I've never experienced before. And there definitely needs to be some credit for that. But. It's also, like I said, very 
frustrating to make YouTube videos. We're gonna fall. And we're gonna have some kind of like little mini boss. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we finally have enough uh, ciphers to decipher this. Our connection to our brethren is severed. Our agony is maddening. We cannot stop the endless cycle of violence to come. Okay, so that's a good little tidbit of information, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. I feel so engaged in what's going on because the story for this is crazy. But I feel like it is separate to what like the gameplay loop is in a sense, I guess. Let me move, let me move, let me move. And then I die, and I go back again, and again, and again. You don't get anywhere. I told you the moment I started dying, the more I would get annoyed with this. The thing that, that makes me so mad is that we don't get to keep any of this shit when we die. That's the most annoying part is you legitimately, other than your knowledge of how to take on certain enemies, you get reset to square one. Scout log, Atropos. This is my 10th return. There are four meter tall corpses littering the ground. Piled up, perhaps centuries ago. I can't tell if there was civil war or genocide or mass ritualistic suicide. Some of the bodies I find of myself have been wounded in a similar manner. I don't understand how that could be possible. So, listening to her and then also reading that, it seems like there's some kind of anarchy, some kind of uprising that was created here on this planet. Oh, dude, sick. Sick, baby. Sick, baby. Dude, I swear to God the combat's getting tougher. I swear. I swear it's getting tougher. Like, I'm figuring it out a lot better, don't get me wrong, but it definitely seems... It definitely seems tougher. I really didn't think we were gonna have to beat this guy again, but here we are. On the final stage. About to get our ass with low key, because, I mean, this guy's not an easy... Like, not an easy boss fight at all. I mean, we are about dead. I mean, we are... Yeah, we are, we are not good. We are not good. We are not good. He's almost dead, though. I just gotta avoid these hits. We just gotta avoid this! Oh, man. I just can't believe we had... We I just don't know why we have to defeat him again. I thought we only had to beat him... Once. Unless we didn't need to. And we just somehow ended up... Walking into his lair again. So, I mean, we, we got we got a long way to go. Oh, here we go. Objectives updated. Now we need to ascend the mountain. Which means don't die. Basically what that means. God damn. Can I bounce? I can bounce if I need to. Okay. Hey, ugly. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Oh, you're behind me now. Great. No! Whoa, I'm not dead. I forgot. These guys are the worst. Die! I thought that was it. I'm sure you could see the look on my face. I was about to just absolutely rage quit off of the game. The, like, the enemies are so difficult to fight. Truly. They are wild to fight. And some of them, I guess, I just don't have them figured out yet, I guess. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Some good luck there on that one. We got an increased, uh... Increased health. We can't get up there without a grappling hook. And there's ether up there, too, which kind of sucks. That'd be really nice to get, but that's okay. Okay. So we actually got an objective complete in this episode. I'm a little bit shocked, if we're being honest. Let's fall down. Do this thing. Oh, there's a random thing for that. I See, my thing is, is like we could hit those and get uh, obelites. But we already have so many um, malfunctions that it's just not, it's just not ideal. All right, let's see what we get. What is that? A resin is shield. Picking up a resin gives you shield against the next hit. That's Pog. My thing is, I'm gonna use every bit of these that we have. There's no point in taking them with me unless I know I can use them somewhere else, you know? So we might as well try to give ourselves the best um, chance of survival. It looks like a health vial. All right, I think this will probably be the last one that we can use on this. Let's see what we get. It looks like a bomb. I don't know what we just got. Oh, an obelite extractor. Okay. All right, cool. Let's go back up and uh, continue on a little bit. I'd like to. I'd like to get a little bit farther into the story because I've been playing for a long time, but I don't know how much of this I'm really gonna be leaving in. That's the thing. I also find it so interesting that you actually get more story content when you die. I find that so interesting. Like, very fascinating. Oh, we got a guy. We got a guy. We got a guy. We need to be very careful here, because this guy can ruin our fucking day, boys. It can ruin our day. You bitch. Hey, you're hurt. No. Dumbass. You big ugly brute. Those things just do so much damage. They do so much damage. And in my opinion, I think there needs to be more healing in this game. I don't think it needs to be so unbelievably harsh. I, I don't mind it being harsh. 
but you should like I should at least be able to heal. I shouldn't be running around having to fight these tough ass enemies with zero health to my name. You know? That's my thing. I'm relatively confident the severed would have been incapable of sending out the white shadow broadcast. Their fractured nature does not display any proof of higher cerebral functions. The other sentience must still be alive at its source beyond the wall. But without a proper means of communication, will they view okay. me as hostile as well? I haven't come here to destroy. Yeah, but they don't know and I don't think they care, Celine. It's very strange. We're also getting to these big ass areas. Like this is entirely new. This is kind of like the um, the reconstruction thing. Confirms authorship of the Xenos. This is this part of the game is really cool though. So I'm picking that up because we got health for it. And it got rid of that one malfunction as well, so. Oh, there's, there's all these different things you can interact with over here. Symbolic communication. Interesting. I didn't know that. Fear or worship. These pillars affect the severed soul profoundly. A level nine hollow seeker, we almost have to take that. I mean that that's a damn good level, you know? That's what sucks is when you die, you just like it's just it's so heartbreaking. Like it makes me not even want to go and explore that much. I loved it when I wasn't when when my desk didn't make me lose everything. I wanted to explore everything. I wanted to see every little nook and cranny, but now I just want to fly through it. Fight as little people as possible. And make it out. I'm not doing that. Nah, nah. See what I mean? Point and proven. Like, it's not it's not a mandatory door that we go through, so why, why should I do that? What the hell's the point? You know? It's just, it just it ain't worth it. I've already died and gotten nowhere from it. And I'm, uh, no, 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 I'm done with that. We gotta play our life, which means being a little bit of a little, a little sissy man. I can't imagine what it would be like to die on the sixth map and having to come all the way back to the first. I just, knowing how difficult it was to get from the first map all the way back to this one, I can't imagine. All right, this is a lot of enemies, dude. Like, you're starting to get just a little ridiculous here. Oh, man. little ridiculous and I'm losing my voice oh we have another crafting area that's actually so pog and we're gonna do this we're doing this because this gives us an extra life as well and we don't have an extra life right now we're doing this we'll skip it because we already know what this does oh we don't have enough obelites can we do this to exchange? Increase max integrity. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's maybe it's this over here. Oh. Okay, so maybe if we find more obelites, we can come back. We're not we're not far off. We need like 15 more. Why? Why do you hurt me? Oh, 
And now I'm having to fight on this weird ass platform. I'm having to worry about jumping and not dying. Oh, that only gave us 147. I'm not jumping in the water. I know better than that. Take me to your leader. Whoa. Where the hell are we going? That's... That's pretty wild. Okay. Gosh damn it, dude. Okay, I can avoid that, I can avoid that. That's good movement. That's good movement. Die! Die, 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 die. Okay. I'm gonna take this. I just like this carbine so much more. I like it so, so, so much more. Can damage integrity. Lie down. I'm not. No. No. I want my health. Fuck you. Every little thing that can damage my health, I don't want to deal with it. Dash disabled. Okay. Once again, I'm not going to any side. Side doors. Nope. Definitely seems like there's a big bad boy around here somewhere. Yup. Alright, we're taking those guys out pretty good. You wanna fight me, bitch? Taste my blade! Taste it! Taste it, baby! Taste the lightning! Fuck. Nicely done, nicely done. We need health. We need health. Desperately, we need health. Oh, I think this is a, a thing that it replenishes our health, too. Oh, let's go. This is just wild. Okay, we've already seen that. We've seen that. Okay. Interesting. Gosh damn it, dude. Fuck. Ah. Die, bitch. Ugh! I hate you. I actually hate you. Those are by far my least favorite enemies to fight. An atropian key. We can get some health. Love that. We're gonna leave this over here? Actually, never mind. We'll do that. Is this another resin? Oh, that's actually so bog. So we're only one away from another max integrity. I mean, health is. I mean, it seems like everything and then some in this game. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, 
Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. All right, you're dead. The better weapons are definitely helping. Definitely helping. A lot. Helping a lot. Is this another resin? Oh, let's go. I'm loving this right now. I mean, we need this shit. We need it. Fixes all malfunctions. That's nice, too. Okay. We need to ascend the mountain. No idea what this means. Or where the hell we're going to go. But it looks... Okay, I was going to say, it looks like there's a... I reached my goal. I finally summited. The energy signature is right here. It's right here. Um, what I was gonna say is, it looks like at the top of this, there's like a giant arena boss fight, like a bowl. So, I, I, obviously, I know at the end of every one of these levels, you have a boss fight. So, I don't know what all that's gonna entail. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna get there. We're gonna try to do that in the next one. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out. This is this this episode has frustrated me. I'll be entirely honest. It has frustrated me to the core. But I had a lot of fun. I had fun playing it. It just frustrates me because I know this is going to be such a pain in the ass to edit. So I'm going to go do that and get this episode ready for you guys tomorrow. And then after that, I think in the next one, we'll at least have an attempt at a boss fight. An attempt. Um, we're going to have to figure out its moves very quickly or... Face the punishment. So, yeah. Stay awesome. Stay yourself. And I'll see you guys then, okay? Peace out, YouTube.